I'm going to walk you through making a Valentine's Day mailbox. The first thing you'll want to do is open Cricut Design Space, click on New Project, and you'll want to click on Projects. And I typed in um, Mailbox. And this is Pink Valentine's Day Mailbox, and we're going to go ahead and make this one. So we're going to select Customize. Everything is already um, scored. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just decide what colors you're going to use. And we're going to go ahead and select Make It. And this one is kind of a lot of different colors. And this is a pretty big mailbox. You, if you don't want to do uh, so many different pages of cutting, you could always make it a little bit smaller. Continue. And then I'm going to use medium cardstock. And what works for me is um, doing default pressure to more. And everyone's different. You'll know what you need to do, you know, for, for you. And let's go ahead and start cutting, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through the mailbox. There are a lot of pieces. So um, the best thing that I can recommend is, first we have this. And what I did was I just folded on the lines and then I wrote uh, right here that this is going to be the back. So I'm just going to kind of set this right here. And then you have another sheet that's just um, a rectangle and they have little cut lines and we're going to fold on that. And this is the bottom. So I wrote bottom right there. And then we have two of these. One of them has um, three cuts. And that is going to be the left side of the mailbox. So we're gonna go ahead and fold again on the cuts. So it'll be just like this. And then this one has the three cuts. So this is going to be the left side. So I wrote left side. So let's just place this on the left side. And then this is the same image, but this one does not have the three cuts. And this is going to be the right side. So I wrote uh, right side. So we're just gonna kind of set this here. Then we have this part, doesn't have anything in there. This is the front, so I wrote front. And then this part is also the front. This is the part that you open for the mailbox. So again, I wrote front, and you fold again on the cut lines. And then this is the top, and this is the biggest sheet. So we're gonna just slowly put this together. The first thing we're going to do is attach on um, the left side to the bottom. And it's kind of like if you guys have ever done the purse, we're gonna put glue here and then fold it over. So go ahead and put this here, line this up and we're gonna fold it over. And we're gonna use the popsicle stick to help it adhere better. And don't worry about any purple you get on here because it, when it dries, you don't see it. We have the left side done. So now what we're going to do is the exact same thing, but this time we're going to do it on the right side. So we're gonna apply the glue. So we're gonna line this up and fold it over and do the exact same thing. So right now we have this part. And if you notice, when you the parts that you fold are going to go on top, because just think of it this way, this is going to attach uh, to the top of the paper. And then this part will go in the back because you obviously wouldn't want this in the front with the drawer that goes down. Okay, so this is what we have so far. The next thing we're going to do is take this part, which this is the back, and remember we folded it right here. We're going to add the glue and then line it up and go ahead and glue that. Put some paper underneath here so I don't get it on the table. So we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue. And if you use the jumbo glue stick, I think it works great. Line this up and then we're gonna fold it over. Just reinforce that with the popsicle stick. And if you don't have a popsicle stick, I bet you could use the scraper. Just something with force. Okay. So that part is done. So now 
we are going to do the front, the front part. So the first thing we're going to apply is this one. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to apply the glue right here. Line it up. And fold it over and popsicle stick. Go ahead and fold this first so it's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and take this part and fold it over. Okay, and before we do any gluing with that, let's also go to the back and fold this over. And again, it has like cut lines, so you just fold right on there. So this is the biggest piece that there is. So we're gonna start it on the left side and we're going to fold this down and apply the glue. Align it up and place it down and use the popsicle stick. And then this part, you're going to go ahead and fold this up. And this part is going to go on this side and attach it just like that. So before we do that, let's go ahead and turn it over and just turn it around. We want to, we are going to glue this spot and this spot and then pull it up like this and then attach it the back and this is the back panel. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have that side and let's, I'm gonna do both sides at the same time. And keep in mind, this is the back. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and pull this up. Pull this one up. And we're gonna, I'm gonna have to flip it around like this really quick and make sure it's aligned. And definitely, let me put the pops, do the popsicle stick really quick so it doesn't move and I'll show you what I did was I lined it up right there. And then I took the popsicle stick and I just um, added pressure to help that adhere better. So that is what we have so far. So it's just, looks just like this. And this is the front. And let's turn it back around. The next step, we're gonna use this piece and we're gonna put this in the front part and we're gonna go ahead and apply glue here and then adhere it over. And same with this, and this is gonna go on the side. And I think actually this glue stick works a lot better because if I were doing this with the glue gun, everything would dry so quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get glue on all three sides. We're gonna line this up right here. I'm gonna do the bottom first and then I'm gonna turn it on its side. Make sure it's lined up and I'm going to help it adhere better. And we're gonna flip it. And now we're gonna do this side. Okay, so now we have the mailbox here, we just glued here and there and attached it. This part is going to go up and down just like this. What I'm gonna do next is apply the glue right here and attach the other half. I'm gonna apply this here, make sure it's lined up. And you're just gonna kind of reach in the mailbox carefully and use the popsicle stick and just make sure that it sticks. So now we have the lid, the top. 
and the side and the back and then the front. The next step is gluing um, this, um, these little um, tags, I guess. We'll just call them little tags. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue and use the glue gun. I'm just going to put like a dot here on each part. Okay, and then we'll just uh, push it down right here. Next, we're gonna do the next one. You just need a dot and then you'll push it down. Now that's done. And I am going to take the fastener dots and use it for the mailbox. So we're gonna apply it here. And I think it helps if you put a little glue on here uh, to reinforce it because you will be opening and closing it. And we'll let that dry. Okay, so now the fun part with decorating it. So we have these two pieces and I drew a line and I did half an inch just on one side because they're both the same and that is where I'm going to attach it down here at the bottom but before we do that I want to add the other stuff to it so what we're going to do is take um, one of the pink and we're going to glue this and I'll since this, this is glitter cardstock I am going to use the glue gun and we're going to just place it in the center so now we have this right here Let's do that to the next one as well we just want to center it in the middle and then we have that for this one as well and the way they have it is just kind of um where you just have the top showing like this, which I don't know if I like that to be honest with you. I think I'd rather have the glitter on both sides. So I am going to cut it and make it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take like half an inch off. And so I just made a line like that and I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this, the glitter stock. And center it. So here is the mailbox that we have so far. And I just put the letters on the white, on the cardstock, this design with glue. And I glued the hearts onto the cardstock. And then here there are two cuts. So you can go ahead and just insert the flag. Next, we have these pieces that we are going to put on top of here. I'm going to use the glue gun and attach the smaller piece to the mailbox. And remember that we had folded a little part of it under, so we're gonna attach it gap, added a, like a dot or two um, at the top. And then I just continued um, adding the sections until we covered the entire mailbox. So what do you guys think of this Valentine's Day mailbox? I think it's pretty easy to do. It's just step by step. And it's cute, it opens, and you can decorate it any way you want. So let me know what you think of the project below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.